Alright guys, back for the last DLC of Lego Batman 3, The Squad. Okay, you scum. Code Red. We are under attack. Time to earn those expensive, explosive collars I bought you all. Sensors indicate an intruder has entered from the east wall, fluttered around the security light for a curiously long time, before finally breaking into the compound. Get out there and stop him! Believe me, you don't want to wait for my mind-blowing motivational speech. This is Amanda Waller with a Bell Rev Penitentiary status update. With the prison under attack, I've initiated a complete lockdown. Members of my squad have been tasked with identifying those responsible and taking them out, whether they want to or not. With the lockdown in effect, all prisoner cells have been completely sealed. It's a good thing my team are used to getting past the occasional locked door. I gotta admit, Deadshot is a great leader, even if he doesn't seem to care that he's a great leader. The squad's going to need him if we're going to track down the attackers. Who am I, Captain Boomerang? I believe this DLC came out to, like, hype up the movie, didn't it? Harley uh, Quinn, my favorite inmate. I can't deny she's got her uses, especially with that giant hammer of hers. Wait, how did she even get that in here? Is that still Tara Strong voicing her? They just reuse her voice clips? Yeah, they did. They just reused her voice clips. It's fine. Just curious. She has the exact same movement animations as regular Harley Quinn.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was to, um, hype up the Suicide Squad movie that was coming out in 2016. I'm surprised it didn't have anything based on, uh, Batman v Superman. Because they had Man of Steel stuff. King Shark doing? Must be something going on underground. For the sake of our intruders, I hope King Shark's been fed today. Did I forget to mention that King Shark actually is a shark? He likes to remind people about that. Summoned the dark might. I'm starting to think that Task Force X is causing more damage to this place than any potential attackers. Looks like I'll have to cancel tomorrow's basketball game.
gonna lie, I couldn't build anything as anyone else, but okay. I take back what I said before. Whoever or whatever broke in here must have had one heck of a party. Deathstroke. He should be able to help us get past. Not that I'd trust Slade Wilson as far as I could throw him. I only half remembered that Our shit. Our targets should be right behind this door. Gentlemen, the danger has been neutralized and identified as a Mr. Drury Walker, a.k.a. Cameron Van Cleer, a.k.a. Killer Moth. No, seriously. Unable to access our computer system due to IT not being one of his special powers, he resorted to the usual monologue, detailing his plans to expose the squad in some kind of half-baked revenge plot. His moving speech allowed the squad time to effectively flank and then squash this insect. Needless to say, the whole affair was moth ado about nothing. Decent fun. All right.
Alright guys, so I think that's it. Let me check. So this has been the replay of LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Next LEGO game, I can't remember if I already said what I planned on doing, but I want to get back into Star Wars, especially since um, LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is coming out. So we're going to do LEGO Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, next. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, thanks for tuning in. This has been this replay. Links in the description to all my shit. Subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one.